everyone welcome to my channel study junction and in this video we are going to see our midpoint theorem uh, so let's see what it states so it states that the line joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half of it so it means that the line joining the midpoint so if e and f are the midpoints of triangle abc then ef is parallel to bc that is the third side and is half of it so ef is half of bc so that's what we have to prove and given we are given triangle abc and e and f are the midpoints of ab and ac respectively so we'll uh, do some construction work now so through c through the through the point c we have drawn a line cg which is parallel to ab this much part is clear and now what second part we have done we have produced ef so this is the line which joined the midpoints we have uh, we have uh, produced this line ef to a point d now let's see the proof so in the proof we'll take two triangles we'll take this triangle and we'll take this triangle so in triangle aef and ctf in both these triangles see this angle is equal to this angle because these are alternate angles right we have uh, proved that uh, by construction ab is parallel to cg therefore this angle is equal to this one now this one is equal to this one because these are vertically opposite angles and also AF is equal to FC. Why? Because we have uh, written, we are, we are given that F is the midpoint of AC. Therefore, AF is equal to FC. So, by ASA rule, our triangle AEF, this triangle is congruent to CDF. Right? Now, by CPCT, we will take two, two things. We will take EF equal to FD. This much we can take by CPCT. And also, we are taking AE equal to dc okay so by cpct we have taken these two things as equal ef is equal to fd and uh, this ae is equal to dc now uh, after this after take, taking these we are also given that e is the midpoint of ab therefore we can state that ae is equal to uh, eb the, because a e is the midpoint now see if we take uh, this ae is equal to uh, uh, dc and this uh, and ae is equal to eb if we consider both these statements then what will come to know that dc is equal to eb because a is equal to dc also a is equal to eb also this implies that both the equal things are equal to each other dc is equal to eb now we also know that dc is, e is parallel to eb we have written by construction so what we are saying that dc is parallel to eb right because gc is parallel to ab it means their parts will also be parallel dc will be parallel to eb so what we can state now we can state that ebcd is a parallelogram because we have proved that eb is equal to dc and eb is also parallel to dc if opposite sides are equal and parallel then it is a parallelogram we have proved this particular thing as our parallelogram what we will take next c we will take ef okay uh, ef is parallel to bc because these are the uh, if we take ED, first of all, we are taking talking about ED. ED will be obviously parallel to BC because these are the opposite sides of parallelogram. Now, EF is the part of ED. It means EF will be parallel to BC. So, we have taken first thing. We have proved first thing. Now, uh, this much portion we have proved EF is parallel to BC. Now, we have to prove that EF is equal to half of BC. What we will do? Now, we know that F is the midpoint, right? Sorry, we, we'll, uh, we have already proved, right? We have already uh, taken by CPCT. See, EF is equal to FD. So, we know that EF is equal to FD. It means EF is half of ED, right? If both the, uh, these uh, sides are equal then ef is obviously half of ed but we know that ed is equal to bc because these are the opposite sides of parallelogram right so 
this means that ef is equal to dc i hope this is clear this much portion is clear because we know that ef is half of ed but uh, ed is equal to bc because these are the opposite sides of parallelogram therefore ef is equal to half of bc and ef is also parallel to bc so this was the proof this was our proof of midpoint theorem so i hope that it is clear to you now so i would see you all in the next video till then goodbye